Hey Jake, it was great speaking with you. Uh, here is the video that I had promised. So I wanted to start with first going through your website. The first thing I noticed is that it's not secure here. So if it was secure, it would be HTTPS. You can see that there's no S here and it's saying not secure. This means that on some computers and some phones, it will say website not secure and it'll ask people if they really want to go to the page, which most people always will, will back out and, and not go to the website. So that's, it's a real easy fix, but that's definitely something you want to fix as soon as possible. Or if you have a new website build, make sure it is secure. Um, Anyway, so I was looking through the website and as I said, right, it doesn't it doesn't look great. Um, there's not really a whole lot here. Obviously, there is a little bit of text about who you are and some pictures, but just really nothing to the home page. So as I was saying, for a website that's going to rank, you want at least 1,500 words on there, and that's for two reasons. The first reason is that you want Google to be able to read what you do and what areas you serve. They come in here and they have crawlers and it goes through the home page. And if you have your services and you have more text, it makes you look like an expert. The second reason is you want to beat out what your competitors are doing. So for example, if your competitors have 500 words, you want 1,000 words. Or if your competitors have 1,500 words, you want 2,000, et cetera. The other thing you wanna do with that content is you wanna have keywords in there. I don't see any of those on here. So for example, if someone is searching for paving company CT, you wanna have that exact phrase on here, paving company CT. That will tell Google that you are literally a paving company in CT, and it'll be much more likely for you to show up when someone is searching for a paving company. And so when I went through here, I didn't see any of those keywords. There's obviously barely any text, um, doesn't go through your services or anything, right? So not, not an excellent home page. But if I went to a Google search for paving company CT, so this is someone running an ad here, Google ad. Uh, this company as well. Now this is called the map pack. So the top three listed here are the ones that receive most of the work because they are right at the top. They're easy to find. People can, on the phone, you can just click call button or go to the website directions as well. Um, so you want to be in the top three. This is the listing that I was explaining to you about. You want to fill it out as much as possible. So just to give you an example, having regroup Reviews is great. You want to talk about what areas you serve. You, if your address is visible, that's even better. Phone number, obviously. Um, hours. Even if, even if you don't have dead set hours, put something. The more information you put on here, the better. Put as many pictures as you can. You can post to it, like I said, just like Facebook. And then, let's see. So it doesn't look like they have their description filled out, but there is an option to fill out a description and put as much information in there as you can. Uh, and you wanna turn on messaging. The more active you are in this, the more willing they are to put you at the top. The websites listed below here, these are called the organics. This is what I was talking about on the phone. Um, and, and so you, again, wanna be on the front page and ideally within those top three positions. So I don't see you on the first page here, but let's take a look at this first website here, paving, <laughs> the URL is actually paving company in CT. Funny. So the website isn't beautiful for sure, um, but it does have some more content. Um, does have a little bit of, of pictures of their jobs and a really nice looking driveway. All right, so it's got a little bit more to it, but it's not definitely not beautiful. But I wanted to talk about why they were paving. So this is the paid program I used to research websites called Arabs, and I went ahead and put them into here so you can see what you're up against. I wanted to go over UR and DR ratings real quick. So a UR rating is like the trust rating of the website, and a DR rating is the power of the website. So Google how trustworthy they think you are and how powerful they think you are. These numbers are generally raised by backlinks. So we can see they have about 270 backlinks. And essentially all a backlink is, is another website giving you a shout out. 
So if there's a blog article and they wrote about paving companies and they listed your website URL, hey, go check out this paving website and then your URL, that's a backlink, okay? The last thing I wanna go over is keywords. So these are the search terms that I were talking about. For example, CT Paving Company. There's approximately 30 people that Google that a month. Paving CT. There's approximately 70 people that Google that a month. CT Paving Companies. There's approximately 30 people that Google that a month and so on, right? Hartford has 20. So there's tons of ways to go about this. We can look at the towns, the services, et cetera, but there's pretty decent search volume for people searching for paving contractors or companies in Connecticut, right? So lastly, I wanted to go over your website here. We can see your UR rating isn't too bad. Your DR rating is pretty low. We can see you have about 74 backlinks and you actually do have some keywords here, which is great. Um, so we can see you are targeting some of these words, which is great as well. We can see like CT paving contractors. However, you're on the second page roughly um, for Hartford, Hartford, you're on the third page roughly and so on. Obviously, it, it goes down. So feel free to take these tips. The first one is that you want to have at least 1,500 words on your home page. Second one being that you want to have those keywords within your content. And the third one being that you would want to raise these UR and DR ratings by getting more backlinks to the site. Following those tips along with the Google My Business listing would really help you guys be able to get more of the paving jobs and less of some of the other services that you aren't as interested in. I hope that this was helpful for you and I look forward to speaking with you further. Have a great day.